What's going on all of you fantastic freelancers? My name is William and today we have some absolutely incredible gameplay courtesy of Anthem and Ryan Central. Apparently there was an embargo on this footage and news since Paris Games Week that was given to UK creators or something along those lines. Anyways, we just received the footage, so without further ado, let's jump in. First, for those of you who are complaining about last week's live stream quality being indicative of how the game will look, eat your hearts out. With this absolutely stunning footage. As I was watching the footage, this scene stuck out to me and just wow. But first things first, the ultimate abilities. As mentioned countless times before, each javelin will only have one at launch, and obviously we have to start with the interceptor. Its ultimate is called Assassin's Blades. The interceptor becomes supercharged, arming its Assassin's Blades and carving through enemies at high speed. Can I just say, holy wow, this is a gorgeous ultimate ability. I'm sure we'll see even more of it very soon with the live stream going on in the next few hours, hosted by Ben Irving and Mike Gamble. Next up is the Storm's Ultimate, which we got a peek at at the live stream last week, which is called Elemental Storm. Manipulating the raw force of the Anthem, the Storm emits successive blasts of frost, electricity, and fire, ending with a meteoric finale. Guys, I think I'm in love. Next up, we have the two we've known about for the longest, but uh, we have to cover them anyway. The Ranger's Ultimate is called Multi-Target Missile Battery, dealing precise damage across a wide swath of the battlefield. The Ranger's multi-target missile battery allows it to target many fast-moving enemies with guided projectiles, which is followed up by the Colossus with its Siege Cannon. The Siege Cannon is ideal for clearing out small enemies, controlling enemies at a choke point, or putting some extra damage on a boss. It really looks like it packs some serious punch. We also received some new information on the gear attachments, but for this video, I want to bring your attention to the support attachments currently announced for each class. As a skillful field general, the ranger is capable of creating special fields that allow its allies to gain a tactical advantage. These abilities are called Bulwark's Point and Muster Point. I'm assuming these will possibly have buff mechanics tied to them, with increased damage output via weapons or attachments. Maybe also one for a buff to defenses for, you know, those holdout situations. Up next is the Colossus, who is described as the preeminent battle tank. The Colossus is capable of supporting its allies by decreasing incoming damage or diverting enemy fire towards itself. The abilities we know of so far are called Taunt and Deflector Pulse. I'm glad to see the Colossus will have abilities that allow it to be the actual tank in the game, and it'll be able to call in some aggro and pull enemies off of teammates, and the Deflector Pulse might serve as a useful pushback for anyone who gets too close even for the Colossus's comfort. Now, the Storm support abilities are what surprised me the most, as the Storm's support abilities play towards the strengths of damage evasion and damage output, helping allies stay safe and take down enemies faster. These abilities are called Windfall and Nexus. As you know, the Storm uses Seal technology, which allows it to master the elements. However, I could have sworn it would have had more healing or direct boosting support attachments rather than evasion and damage output abilities. However, this does give it some survivability. Enemies getting too close or the team is getting over overwhelmed in a choke point, maybe a wind wall will give your team some time to breathe. With Nexus though, your guess is as good as mine. I'm assuming it's going to be a damage output ability though. Lastly, the Interceptor is another one that surprised me a fair bit. It seems the Interceptor's abilities are more focused on damage output, with its abilities called Target Beacon and Rally Cry. Target Beacon could be used to pinpoint weak points on bosses or larger foes, as to where Rally Cry may give anyone near the Interceptor to have a significant damage increase for a period of time, of course. There is a ton more to go over in another video, but I just wanted to get this out there for you all for right now. A special thanks again to Ryan Central for the files and being kind enough to share them. That's exactly what I want to see more of with the Anthem content creation community. But what do you all think of the new footage? Want me to cover each javelin one by one? Let me know in the comments section below. Below. Thank you all for watching, and if you enjoy what we're doing here, consider liking and subscribing for more Anthem content. And a very special thank you, as always, to my patrons for their generous and loyal support of your Anthem. I hope all of you fantastic freelancers have a phenomenal day, and I'm looking forward to seeing you all in the next video very soon. Peace out, everyone.